You know how stupid my neighbors are? Some of them. Stupid. Okay. I walked outside to smoke. And one of the neighbors said, Steve, you're giving out $5,000 for no one to say what's going on down here. Okay. Do you know if you take harsh money and an FBI agent asks you questions and you lie to them? It's a federal crime. It's federal prison. Just saying. Now, September 27th, 18, I talked to Will at the FBI in Canton. <clears throat> Reported threats on my life. After that, my house was legally bucked. So was my vehicle. The police have it bucked. You turn it into a state case, turn it over to the police uh, for the stalkers. Must be in protective custody. Some of the officers that were following me, Dave was admitting to crap in the car. And they walked in stores. Oh my goodness, he admitted to this. Oh my goodness, he admitted to that. Okay. It's still bucked. And I was actually talking to uh, this one guy that used to work for the prosecutor. I said, they bugged my vehicle. I went up to the Portage County Sheriff's. And I sat outside, and they're driving around. And I'm giving, like, the testimony of da 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 And I said, you can hear my voice back up from their cars. I said, they bugged my car and won't tell them all. And he started laughing. He's like, I don't blame you. Because I was supposed to be in protected custody. Okay. So people, when they say stuff around me and my car, the police have that. It goes into a database. And these people sold a real state investigation on a real threat of life supposed to be in protected custody. Police are not allowed to give out your name, your address, or any details of the case. And these people are so crooked. They sold the state police investigation well created September 27th, 18th. That's the only time somebody can marry you in your home. Under a threat of life because it raises all your rights. Well, you have to have random rights. You got to give a formal statement and ask for help. They have to, you have to have a witness, and then they have to speak to the other person that lives there of knowing of any kind of threats. <clears throat> but yeah, one of my stupid neighbors, Steve, you're giving out five grand for anybody who won't uh, say what happened here. Okay, well, you know, if I'm in my car or I'm not, the police still hear you. And everybody with the login. Like they said out at Rocks. I left my phone running in my car. When it runs. I come out and people are like. No one finds any of this funny. They sold the lock. Now all you have to do is research. I told you even people at Barry Cheese. Dr. Rapika's office, a lady from domestic violence, Faith Family Church, has it, St. Mary's, Amazon delivery drivers, truck drivers, teenagers, old ladies. They sold it over and over again. They talk about it in Walmart. Uh, the agents are selling the login for money. It's going for $25 a pop. People in Canton said they even taped the whole case. Okay. There was people in Bedford, Amazon delivery drivers, okay, St. Mary's, nursing home in Canton, people on different streets in Canton, stores around Canton, Youngstown gas station, Hartville gas station, uh, Hartville used clothing store, and then people showed up across the nation after the gunshot night. And a lot of them help work secure. Freemasons in Ravenna, the retired vets, 
help take care of. Okay. Now, I don't find these people funny at all. And I hope you link it back to that Steve, Eric, Kirk, Chris, and Mark that they're all talking about. Now, some police will give you the login. They watch dicks on Federal Avenue. Birth threat on life, and then they tamper with their vehicles. Okay. And with their being real estate and police lock. I gotta do some research. And I told you, 15 years ago, I was in a restaurant working there. I had tiny cameras went into a recording of a VHS tape. I could hear a kid insult me across the restaurant when I reviewed it. They were that good back 15 years ago, imagine today. Mercy Medical on uh, Tuesday, I think it's Tuesday night. I went there and it was around midnight. I waited and I talked to the nurse at the emergency admitting stand. She said, I said, can I talk to you just for a minute? She's like, yeah, I'll talk to you. She And I told her about the Ravenna place. She's like, you're not the only one that complained about, or said something about the Ravenna police being abusive and cruel. She said they're not hurting people. And she's like, you're not the only one that's come in here. I told her about the rape. I said, do you want to see a picture of what they did in my face? She's like, I don't even have to see it. The way you're talking, the way you look, I know they raped you. I guess there's a look to it. You can actually see where they smothered me and it's embedded in my face. You can see a bruise. You can see where my nose has been smashed. And my eyes were all black. And even with makeup on, it didn't cover every the bu bruises. And the redness was embedded. Okay. If you've never been tortured, you have no idea what it's like. That's why I think about what waterboarding terrorists, what if they just say whatever you want so that they can breathe? I did at one point. And I've had over 50 people say they've seen the rape and torture, including who was in the room. And I told, the, I told you the usher at Faith Family Church, yelled at him, what you did was considered rape. You leave her alone in front of a thousand people. Officers white, six foot, 200 pounds, stocky, drove the dark gray truck. Stationed in the courthouse. They went around telling everybody they're FBI agents. Stationed there. I didn't talk to them besides, excuse me and thank you for opening the door. Once you get the login, pull 12-21-18, watch me be abducted out of my home. Stabbed in the neck. Watch those officers break in and stab me. It's not funny. None of this is. It is the most heinous crimes you could ever, ever imagine. And I'll tell you what, these people, my one ex-client, he said, what kind of people make fun of you for being drugged up and told to say something? And for being raped in public. What kind of people do that? I have never been questioned or accused of any officer or agent of any wrongdoing. Because I'd like to see the video. Because it never happened. Never had a man, a lady, or attorney either. Because I'd like to see the video. I had bruises before the FBI and bruises afterwards and people telling on them for drugging me up and photoshopping me with altar tapes. And they had no right in my home. 
and they had no right ever touching me. These people run up and down the street screaming, thinking they're funny. And the people hopping out think they're funny. And they've hurt other people. I'm not their only victim. And when it happens to them, maybe they won't think it's so funny. Now the FBI did investigate Amish people for cutting off beards. This hits a whole different higher level of crime. Like I said, I'd like to see the body cam of an officer accusing me of wrongdoing. With Miranda rights, there's no law. No officer, no agent. No man, no lady. No attorney, nobody. I had bruises. I got sick when Dave touched my trees. And then once the case started, you can actually see the officers break in and stab me. And like the Amazon delivery driver said, there's real lockets, and there was, or there's real cases. And truck drivers have it, construction workers, old ladies, teenagers. They sold it everywhere. That's how not funny this is. It made millions.